Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, just a quick and dirty one here. Uh, just a little bit of an update. Since, uh, well, since Intel has updated and my motherboard manufacturer has updated, I'm uh, running that new microcode for the 13, 14th gen i9s. And uh, I, gotta, I gotta tell you, it's, uh, it's a hell of a difference. This, uh, this used to be a freaking firehouse. This <laughs> almost nuclear meltdown is now, well, it's freaking tame as hell. I'm, uh, I mean, look at my temps, right? I mean, you, you see what's going on there. I am rendering a video. I am deep into this render. It's already been running. I did, I did two of them. This is the second, second one. It's already been running two hours. So, you know, as far as temperature equalization and whatnot, I mean, you can see the time right there, right? It has, uh, you know, fully, fully saturated. And we are doing, we are doing some really nice temperatures here. You know, running between 115 per core. Our max temp here hit 160 at one point. And our power draw, this, this is the, the key factor, really. It's not, it's not sucking down all those watts, <laughs> all those joules of energy, uh, which typically just, you know, y y they keep dumping more power into these things. They don't run faster. They just run hotter. Stop dumping more power into these. So uh, finally, they, 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 they got the, the power delivery under control. I'm using the, in, uh, this is stock Intel. I, I'm set at 253 watts. That's what they recommend. That's what I got it set in the BIOS too. And you see what it's drawn. You know, we're, we're doing 160, 170 watts. Whereas before, uh, this thing used to be right up against my limit. Now, I should note, denote here, when I first built this system, I never, ever used these recommended settings. I never let the run thing, at, thing run at default temperatures either. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Nobody on this planet is going to tell me that is a safe operating temperature for a chip. No, it ain't. So I never let mine run that hot. I mean, well, I, when I first bench tested the thing, I saw the temperatures and I immediately shut it down, went right back into the BIOS and set my own limits. I limit the thing at 95C, which off the top of my head, I can't recall what that is. I think it's right around 200 degrees, which is freaking hot, but it's below boiling. <laughs> Okay, a chip that runs so hot that it can boil water. You ain't gonna tell me that's a safe operating temp. No, it ain't. So I never let mine run that hot. I mean, from day one, I always uh, set my own limit. And then I tuned mine literally from day one by temperature. I didn't care about power. You know, I, never, I never ran 253 watts. This is the first time I've ever run this kind of power. And these, these are the stock Intel settings, all stock uh, recommended settings now. And it's so much cooler than it ever was. Originally, I had to run right, right around 220 watts, if memory serves, to keep the thing reasonable temperature-wise. Now, now it's freaking awesome. Now I'm running, you know, full recommended settings, 253 watts, and this thing never throttles. <laughs> it's freaking cool. Finally, these freaking space heaters, they're not, they're just, well, they're not such a space heater anymore. So, you know, just little proof in the pudding here if you have not updated yours uh get to it you know sooner than later your cpu will thank you for it but yeah i mean it's not it's not any slower it's the same speeds i'm always between five four you know high five fours and four gigahertz you know my e cores are always at four four point two my uh p cores are always at you know four or four and uh, or five five point four to five point five you know, just kissing the 5.5 mark. It's not any slower. I mean, now I don't do any gaming. I don't care about fucking games. I'm all about video. Um, you know, I'm doing real work like this. Well, I'm doing 12.6 frames a second on this particular render, but this is a pretty easy one. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing anything crazy with this one. But yeah, in Topaz Video AI, in case you were wondering, this is the program that I'm using. 5.33 version, latest and greatest as of right now. And uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely upgrade this, uh, upgrade your uh, BIOS, get this patch because this is working. This is freaking working. All right, um, yeah, that's about all I wanted to show and tell here. And that's about all I got to say about that. 
All right, hopefully this was helpful to at least somebody. And, uh, you know, do the likes, subscribes, the bells, the whistle. You know all about that crap. And, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out. We're going to see you in the next one. All right, cheers.